There's no asterisk in politics. You either win or lose. In the end, it doesn't matter how you got there. You can call it a lucky break or whatever, but uh, it worked out. Newly elected Green Party MP Mike Morris's road to electoral victory opened up when Liberal incumbent Raj Saini dropped out of the race amid accusations of inappropriate behaviour towards his female staff, which he denied. Yeah, I'm, I'm not concerned with any asterisks. I'm doing this to be a voice for my neighbours in Ottawa. Morris, along with Elizabeth May, are the only Greens going to Ottawa after a turmoil-filled election. This wasn't a good night for the Greens, um, and it wasn't a good night for Annamie Paul. Where to start? How about with the internal squabbles that consumed the party for the better part of the year? At the centre of it, party leader Annamie Paul, who finished a distant fourth, not nationally. She finished fourth in her Toronto centre riding. It is hard to lose, no one likes to lose. Under Paul, the party failed to field a candidate in 86 ridings and didn't release its core platform on climate until two weeks ago. There's a lot to analyze. I wouldn't want to just give an off-the-cuff answer, but I'm not surprised because we usually are, are much better organized in advance and really have a strong uh, efforts to engage. That could be seen as a swipe at Paul, who only campaigned outside her riding four times during the election. Now her party of two is facing a leadership review. I think it's too early to say that the Greens have no future, but uh, I think they're going to have to have uh, some tough conversations about, uh, you know, what that future is going to look like and what they're going to do to do better next time. And whether there'll be a next time for Annamie Paul. Mike Trillet, Global News, Toronto.